I don't know if it was because of my tweets on the movie Gravity. I don't know if that put me on the radar of the people for the film Interstellar, but I was invited to a preview screening of that film with all of the stars uh, in the reception and Christopher Nolan was there. And I then I sort of, you know, hello, might you be interested in coming on for an interview? And he agreed. So that was my sort of access to him. And I think I would have also delighted in interviewing any one of the stars, but uh, Christopher Nolan is, is one of the creators of that story and of the movie. And so that would be a different interview than if I had interviewed one of the actors. And so uh, I, I'd like seeing what goes on in the mind of someone with futuristic creativity. And Christopher Nolan is just such a person. And you look at his portfolio, he's got movies that have played with the passage of time time passing at different rates in different dream states. Is it real or is it a dream? In, in Interstellar, he is exploiting the laws of physics as represented in Einstein's relativity theory to have time pass at different rates among people who are otherwise contemporaries with one another, people who have children, whose relativity says that if you go in the vicinity of a black hole, time ticks differently for you than it does for others. He had a science advisor who's a professor of physics at Caltech. So it was fun speaking with a creative producer because they have such influence on our dreams, giving us ways to think about the world, showing us futures that we should avoid. We should do all we can to not have the future he portrays in that film.